Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Owl Was Awakening. We are back here in the heading to the Amber Sicellum. Or actually we're in it right now. But we just picked up the green gemstone, so we can make some platforms now. Can't quite get everything though. Can I make this jump? Yeah, I can. So I'm gonna be heading towards the right here. Now there's actually probably a few things. I can go back and get. In fact, there's definitely an orb uh, early in the game that I could go get, but I don't quite know uh, what they're for yet, so I'll hold off on that for now. I could probably make that jump, but there's not really any purpose. Alright, so now we can get up here. I don't know if I need to make the block for all these jumps, but might as well, now that I have the ability. That'll like just get over here. Ooh, dodge that. Oh jeez. Oh no. All right, I'm still alive. So there's that. Uh, I can make that jump, I believe. I just need to actually do it right. Health is uh, is not very common, I've noticed. That's definitely gonna be a little bit of a problem here. safety sake here. Do I need to make a block for this, uh? Maybe. There we go. Definitely made it that time. <laughs> so that's a purple block. How do I fall down here, I wonder? Find out. I don't know what, um, this door is. Needs some sort of uh, power up, maybe, to get through. You can go up here, though. Uh oh, this is where I got the. Oh, that was a hidden wall too. That's very good information to have. Well, oh, you know what? We're actually supposed to just go back to town, I guess. But I can go back and get that uh, that blue orb, and I might as well. seem to find my way back to town. I think I can just, uh, do one of these. Yeah. Oh, it did drop a heart. I was like, I should probably do this while I wait for the platform. I'm gonna get a full health upgrade here. Or a refill, rather, in a moment, but... Can I drop blocks while jumping? Yes. Now. Do you have anything new to say? Nah. Alright, so we're back in the Forsaken Valley with what is, I think, my favorite music track so far. Hmm, I wonder if we can get to any other areas here now. We can definitely get that one blue orb, at least. Hmm. Oh, okay. It, it does feel like I might be able to make this jump. I can. Ooh. What is up here, then? Now I'm really curious. Oh my, uh, we're definitely not going in there. Uh, nope, that jump is still too far, though. Ooh. They can't hit you, uh, they just touch on ladders there. gemstone this way? Or am I, have I passed it? Now I don't remember. Ah, it's not a gemstone, it's an orb. Have to reset this room here.
I think it's right here, right? Yeah. In fact, I might be able to be sneaky here. There we go. Skip over that whole section. Alright, we definitely can't get up there, though. But this will take us over to, uh... Oh, that's the warp. That's the door. Okay. Wait, what's that? Oh, we're supposed to defeat the monster in there, right? Yeah, defeat the evil. We haven't done that yet. Wait a minute. Oh, I can get this now, too. So whatever these blue orbs are for, I'm definitely starting to actually collect them here. We've got six now. I'm assuming they're not any sort of uh, consumable, given that there seems to be a finite amount. And enemies certainly don't drop them, so... At least none that I've seen so far. Oh, that's right. This is the room we couldn't get to before, so I guess I did have to come around. And this is gonna be perhaps our first boss. This already looks pretty dangerous. Yeah, oh. How dare you? I've done nothing to you. Yeah, well. The only true deity. No, no. Enough talk, have at you. Oh, you are a giant spider. Oh my god. Uh, okay. What, what am I doing here? Let's... There we go. I can only get one hit each time, it seems. But this block is serving me well. Oh, I jumped right into him that time. Okay, I think I can do this pattern. Uh, this is gonna be a little sketchy here. There we go. Three more hits doing this. Yeah, I can get this pattern down. Oh, he's gonna do two this time? Oh, it actually destroyed my, uh, my block there. Is he gonna do that every time now? Seems so. Alright. One more hit. Of course, he might change up his attacks again here. Oh, I just, I bumped into that spider. Oh, there's a death counter here, that's interesting. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see if he was going to change up his attack again for that, uh, that third set of health. Oh, it seems to have... Does it hold the items I collect, perhaps? So even if you die, um, it doesn't reset the items you have. That's actually really good, if true. Axiom Verge did that, and I actually really liked it for that. Makes me wonder, um... Maybe we'll try it after the boss. There's a little area there it looks like I might be able to go down into. Alright, here we go. Try this again. I only get one hit in because he stays in invincibility frames until he goes back. I don't know if hitting the spider serves any purpose, but... Alright, now he's going to start destroying those blocks. Oh no, he's not! Oh no, he does it now, now, okay. Yeah, so he probably doesn't have another attack after this. I thought it was uh, five bars in the total, not six. I'm miscounting there. Ooh, jeez. Oh, 
One more. Uh, not a lot of space here. There we go. Gotcha. Achievement unlocked, Vicious Keeper. Hey, we get one of these uh, amulets here. So what's past the boss is the real curiosity. I think this is a safe one. I kind of want to go to that other spot, but we're going to have to backtrack this area again anyway. Hi there. I have seen blue orbs. They're very powerful. Try to collect them. The more you have, the more powerful you become when fighting the protectors. Huh. There's a treasure hidden somewhere in the surface. You really try to find it before you leave. Ooh. Is there really now? Uh, what is out here, I wonder? This goes to Central Awa. Oh, there's a blue orb. Alright, so there's a treasure here somewhere, apparently. Oh, this guy just keeps firing. Yikes. Suspicious room there. Oh boy, that's gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so it does retain my, uh, my seven there. Um, I guess I'll keep going this way. I really want to check out that other section though. Can I actually attack? Oh, I can break these. That's, that's very curious. What happens if I drop one on an enemy? I actually want to try that. Um, so I'll wait for this guy to path back. It's going to take a little bit, but... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't hurt them. Okay, I had to find out. So what's the secret to this area? What I was actually trying to do there was... Um, Ah, here is a hidden passageway. But how do we... Hmm... But I can't do anything here. That's very curious. Wait, I can't get up here. I wonder what that secret passage is then. I, I think I'm, well, I was thinking I should just death warp here, but it's counting my death, so I kind of don't want to do that. Wait, give me a heart. No, nope, no such luck. There's ever a way to see secret passages, like a uh, some sort of upgrade that'll let me just see hidden passageways. Yeah, there's that. It would take some sort of like lightning bolt. We don't know yet. But I think that passage to my left here isn't uh, isn't somewhere I've explored yet. At least we're gonna find out. I really, mid-jump, I did not think I was going to make that. Yeah, it's right down here, right? I just never went this way before. I wonder... Why? Oh, okay. I don't think there's any reason for me to not go this way before. I think I just never did. There's also a path down, too. Oh, jeez. I 
wonder if I do ever get a health upgrade, because, man. There we go. Three health is getting a little dicey. There's a coin here. This must be the treasure. And there's the hidden passageway, and there it is. I found a copper coin. It looks really shiny. Yeah, yeah. And the purpose of that is... I wonder if I was supposed to just drop into that room, actually. Kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, I bet, uh, I bet those spikes are fake. Let's find out. I'm not gonna just drop myself in there, but I bet, um... Yeah, they are. Oh, that's, that's really clever, actually. But there's something down here as well. Green butt. Oh, that's a huge blue orb. What the heck is that? Maybe that's multiple blue orbs? I don't think I can get it, though. I think I would need whatever that purple button is, whatever turns that on. I think I'm gonna need that item. We did get the copper coin, though. So, I mean, there's certainly some progress made there. Now I want to check, like, everything. Now, where is this leading me to? Another blue orb. There's really no way for me to s stop those, unfortunately. We're up to eight. Oh, okay, and this is the other room. Um... Wait. can't make it over that. Oh, you know what? I bet I had to push this the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to have to double stack these blocks to get up there. Oh, wait a minute, though. But I'm going to have to. This is actually a very clever puzzle here. So I'm going to have to do that, because otherwise it would get stuck against this platform. Um, and then I can just create a block. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's clever. I should be able to drop a block there. There we go, now we can get over. And this is the room. There's still that hidden, that hidden wall, though. That makes me wonder if there's something else there. I don't know. I don't think so, Skeleton Man. I want to at least get back to the village here before I end the episode and see, uh, see what the old man has to say. I probably could cut this out, but yeah, it's only going to take a minute to get back there, I think. So you can rock out to some 8-bit tunes in the meantime. Or pseudo 8-bit. I don't know how much this adheres to the uh, the actual restrictions of 8-bit. My guess is it's more of a Shovel Knight approach than that. You know, there's more colors here and such than would normally be available. Maybe not, though. It's always hard to tell. Okay, so we're almost there. Here's the warp. I haven't found a second warp yet, either. There's that elevator, too. I'm assuming that's uh, pretty important. Yeah, the void tower. There we go, we're back in town. 
All right, so what do you have to say here? Now that you have the green gemstone, you can continue to the east. Oh, right, right, you find the shrine of the sea monk. So we should be able to go there now because um, we can cross that broken bridge. Was there a uh, save point here? Maybe there is across the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we can go across here. Can they go in water? No, but they can boost me up high enough to make the jump. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's a uh, gem up there, an orb up there. You can refill your water, but first you need to find something to carry it in. Oh, yeah. So where do I find a bottle? Uh, I definitely can't get up there unless there's hidden walls somewhere. Central Isle. Okay, so we, we kind of crossed into here briefly. Uh, further down. I will go find a new save point before I end the episode, though. That was a little close. Uh, oh, jeez. I was gonna say, what are the red guys? But they uh, throw projectiles. I think there's a reason to kill him. Other than just tease an enemy. Nope. He did take two shots, though. Oh, you know what? Um, you can see through walls that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a see-through aspect. You can see through the to the background there, where you can on the other ones. So that's definitely the hint. That's really subtle, though. Like, here you can't, but that'll be tough to see. Oh, heart. So I'm looking for a star. There's one. Ah, flying enemies, of course. All right, we got a safe point here. So that's where I'll pause for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did click like, it helps out a bunch. Subscribe for more, and we'll continue next time. See you then.